data tours. So, what else are we doing tonight? Um, making gaskets. So we gotta make a gasket for the cylinder, make a gasket for the fuel tank, this unit sits on there, the crankcase, fuel tank cover, carburetor runs through. <clears throat> anyway, make them gaskets. So this is the way I make them. I don't order them, I just make them. I have a look at what the original thickness was and then, you know, usually after they've been crushed, I figure maybe five thou weight, five thou more, somewhere between five and ten thou more on a gasket should be reasonable. So what I do is I make use of, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, I use hole punch, I have a whole bunch of different size hole punches. Um, uh, here in my drawer. <laughs> I'm not gonna dig them out right now. But that's the one I'm just using for these these bolts here. Once I do that, so it's centered in, and as long as you got a nice sharp edge in the place you're making a gasket, you can use a ball peen hammer. I don't have a small enough ball peen hammer, I got a big one, so don't wail on it, just tap it along the sharp edge, kind of on a 45 degree angle, and it will cut itself its own gasket, basically. I don't know if you can hear me with a lot of Anyway, you're just cutting yourself your own gasket. As you can see, it's already pushing through a lot of places. I don't have a small enough ball peen, so I use just a little, I don't know, just a little rod. Just tap away. Then I'll come back later with some scissors after I got it through. coming through. Anyway, that's how I make my gaskets. Uh, you can get all sorts of thicknesses of gasket material. Um, gosh, I think you get, well, I got, I got exhaust gasket material I use. It's got lead sandwiched in it. Um, this has rubber in it. Uh, there's cork. You know, whatever, whatever type of gasket you want for the uh, use that you um, need it for. That's the type of gasket to use. So anyway, Hope that helps out. Um, I'll make up a few gaskets and I'll uh, get back to you. See you in a bit. Hey, tours. Okay, so this is the update um, on the Maytag upright half horse motor. Ooh, okay, where are we? Um, fuel tank cleaned out. Um, first, I tried sandblasting. Then wire brush, then sound blasting again, and uh, finally just went with the wire brush inside, just the rotary, the cup brush, and uh, and that pretty much got it done. I even soaked it with vinegar for like, for like four days, and that pretty much didn't touch it. It's, the problem is, here yeah, maybe you guys can see that is the casting. I'll turn the light on. <clears throat> is the amount of casting, the rough casting inside, they don't really finish it up very nice. So. Anyway, got all the, there was a lot of oil, like really thick oil, rust, scale, anything you can name it, it was inside there. So, it was pretty nasty. So, that's good. I think that's more than good enough for, uh, for oil fuel mix. Um, so that's that. I didn't, I had been, not really worn, but kind of discouraged from taking the paint, whatever was remaining off, and, uh, and repainting it. So that's what I did. I just left it alone. I thought, you know, whatever, if if I just decided sometime in the future to uh, to repaint it, I'm almost there anyway. I'm, it's not like I'm that far away from doing it. A quick clean up and spray and, you know, an evening I'm done. So no big deal. It's no, no, big, uh, no big issue that I haven't painted it. So we're gonna go with like that. Uh, clean out the fill elbow, clean it up, drain plug. And, um, and that's it. So that's the fuel base. That's done. Next. Um, carburetor. Type F carburetor. Somebody tell me, um, gosh, somebody on Smokestack or wherever, anyone that's got one of these, they're in the top of this, this air metering cap. There's a hole. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a hole there. It looks like it was, has been there forever, but it just doesn't make any sense. Any of the ones that I've ever seen, they've got the um, rod coming off the middle. 
I don't recall seeing a hole in the top. So if anyone knows, let me know. I'll try probably running it, see if I get anywhere with it. Maybe it'll be too lean and I'll have to just cover that hole up and, uh, you know, whatever. It's, I guess it's, it's odd anyway. I don't know why there's a hole there. Obviously the rod's missing, it's broke off. There was a bit of solder there. It goes right through. Um, yeah, right through. So I guess I could drill it out and um, re-solder a new rod on there. Not a problem, but what really puzzles me is that hole. Um, I did fit up. I've got a selection of springs and I found one that I thought was about right and I cut it in half and trimmed it a little bit more here and there. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but inside there is the little umbrella, the spring. And that spring keeps pressure on that little valve so it's not floating at the top all the time. It's actually held down. The screw compresses again. It's got a matching hole to match the, the thickness of that little valve. And then it compresses that spring. So I'm going to try it like that first and see what I think. If it's not enough pressure, I'll put more. If it's too much, I'll get a lighter spring. Um, made a gasket for this one. All the gaskets, <laughs> like a um, so I made the gasket video before I made the summary video, but whatever. Um, all the gasket sheeting probably cost me five, you know, all the gaskets maybe cost me five bucks all total. Um, I showed you the, or I'm going to show you, maybe it's after this video, I'm not sure the, uh, how things succeed each other in my videos that I'm putting up with this little motor, but, um, kind of lose track after a while. Anyway. You know, you can spend 20 bucks on buying gaskets, or you just make them yourself, just with the peen weight and the hole punch, like I do. It took me all 15 minutes to make all the gaskets for this unit, including the carburetor gasket. So, whatever. Do whatever you want. If you got extra money, or you don't feel inclined to make your gaskets, buy them. But if you like to be kind of hands-on like me, then make them. Uh, last time you saw this, there was a, a, gr um, a ground connection to the case. That was here with a couple little standoffs on it for, for plugging in a, um, a female uh, clip. Uh, what do they call those? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, female clip. I took it off. I didn't like it. it. didn't belong there. I took it off, you know, gently filed that down and cleaned it up. Now it's back to original. Left the paint on here. On, this is the crankcase. Left the paint on here, whatever was remaining. Not a whole lot. It's kind of dark blue or green or whatever it was. I, I'm never really sure day to day what color that is. There's so little of it and it's so dark and whatever. Um, oh, inside here. So there's supposed to be a little cap. Inside here is like is a, is a, is like a main jet. And then inside here there's a check ball. That's gone. The, the little cap is gone. But the check ball size in there, uh, a fella told me on um, Smokestack that it's a 1 8 ball. Put a 1 8 ball in there, fits perfectly. What it does, I'm not really sure. Block something off, I don't know. Try it with, try it without. You know, who knows, I guess we'll wait and see. Clean out the crankcase. I have a little hand, um, a little hand, small hand sandblaster, just perfect for wee little areas and stuff like that. So, blast that all out in there, clean it all up, and it's, um, it's all good. So that's done. <coughs> um, commutator, that's done. Flywheel. The last thing I have to do for this, well, other than maybe repair this little pickup end piece, um, other than that is I gotta get a taper pin. What it had in it before was a bolt kind of driven in there, and that was just a joke, so I wasn't gonna go with that. So I may have to get, uh, you know, like a fluted reamer. A ream it larger on the top, smaller on the bottom, you know, fluted taper reamer. And go with a, um, I don't know, I did some reading and maybe like a number five, uh, number five taper pin, about five inches long. Drive it in, cut it off square, and then that's your pin. So, anyway, that flywheel's all clean up too. That greenish, bluish color is the same color 
that's on the um, crankcase. So interesting. I left that too. Like I say, if I ever wanted to pay in the future, I always could. So that's done.